Today I'll be showing you how to make your own lightsaber using an Ultimate FX lightsaber from Hasbro and PVC pipe. First you need a working lightsaber obviously. Next you'll want to take out all the screws, especially the two in the battery well, as you can see right there. That one's hidden, yeah. Other lightsaber models are a little bit more difficult, but this one's pretty easy. You want to take out that switch and then shimmy off the blade and then break off any of the brackets holding in the wiring and remove the uh, switch towards the bottom of the lightsaber. Uh, you can cut off the uh, sound module if you'd like. I always do. I never use it. Right there you want to keep in mind that that black wire goes to the negative lead of the battery and that orange one goes to the positive. Here's the here's the switch, the original switch. I just break that off and use my own switch from Radio Shack. Keep in mind it's a momentary single push button. Right there, I'm taking off the pegs uh, so that you can keep the blade in place while you're doing some measurements and for the final product. Here I'm taking the battery holders and putting them in series with each other from positive to negative. There's only three of them. Uh, I'm just doing a simple Windsor tie right there. And next you'll want to take your hot glue and hot glue them together. Kind of making a, not a nunchuck, but uh, a battery stick of sorts. Next you want to take your Dremel. You could find one at Radio Shack for $50. It does well, but you get what you pay for. I love my Dremel. Anyway, smooth off the PVC. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. Next we're going to do some measurements. What you want to do is uh, not cover up any of the LEDs. As you can see right there, there's uh, some holes and those holes don't have LEDs in them obviously so right there I'm making a note of where the the LEDs would start and I'm making a line right there from that line you're gonna wanna make a half an inch mark down to a circle you might have seen it right there and that'll be for the switch right now I'm measuring my hands uh, for how much I want of the handle to be. You want enough so that it could uh, go past the circle and enough for the battery and then some so just in case there's some loose wiring. I just uh, move down like half an inch making a mark right there so it has enough room and you want to cut that off with a Dremel. You can use a saw if you want to but I mean Dremels are awesome. Why wouldn't you have one? <laughs> Smooth that off and then after that you want to measure out how much uh, I think this time I did it from the battery or from where I'm gonna put the switch at to the end of the batteries I'm doing for both sides I'm just windsoring them together so it makes an extension so you could easily replace the batteries just by uh, pulling out the the battery assembly Next, I'm insulating both leads of that battery assembly. Very important. Sometimes you use hot glue. I know some professional, but come on. I mean, this isn't a serious project. I know it messes up with the soldering too, but yeah. Uh, here's the switch. Uh, it's a single momentary or single push momentary switch from Radio Shack three dollars or three ninety five or something like that totally worth it you you can keep the washers if you want I don't usually I, I normally use them with the different styles of PVC but in this case I won't use it right now I'm drilling out the hole you just want the hole to be enough so that it can fit the uh, button in there but not too big because you want to be able to have that uh, metal ring around it 
enough surface so that you can hot glue it in there. I mean, you could use whatever glue you want. I just use hot glue. It's easy. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm stripping with my teeth. I'm like that. Right now, I'm uh, windsoring the gray cable or the gray wire to the black wire. You'll see a diagram of it later. Pause the video, please, because it clarifies a lot. Uh, just testing it out. And you'll see in a moment that I take the negative uh, battery assembly lead and Windsor it to the black and gray Windsor. Yeah, as you should see right there, there's a diagram. Very helpful. Uh, the, the side with the black wire, you don't need that blue wire. Just take the other blue wire and extend that one because that one's important. Just windsoring those together, making sure they're tight. Uh, also, uh, added note, I also, uh, from the positive side of the batteries, I also, uh, win uh, from the extension, windsored that to the orange lead, so it goes from red to orange, and that, uh, is the positive side of the battery. Right now you see you can see me fishing out the 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 wires using a uh, jeweler's kit screwdriver works really well. And there you go. Right now you're going to take uh that extension from the blue wire. You'll see it, uh you'll see it at the end of the video. There's a blue wire. I just extended it with a with that wiring right there. So yeah, take that extension and put on uh, Windsor it to the button and then you're gonna wanna take that other lead and Windsor that to the gr uh, negative black and gray leads that you Windsored earlier. And remember those pegs? Yeah, important. See? Right there. And then I usually, I just like put a glob of hot glue on it and there you go you have your lightsaber hooray I know you can do it and there's that thing yeah uh, keep that in mind so yeah there's two sides to the lightsaber uh, the the side with the black lead you don't need that uh, you don't need that blue wire it's only the other blue wire you want to extend and that is pretty much it. Give me some feedback if you get confused. I can try to clarify with another video or something. Or I can email you the diagrams. This one I just made in a minute. So, hope you guys enjoy and make your lightsabers.